south a block or so from here, you got high price condominiums. You cross Liberty behind me here, and from here all the way to Findlay Market, it's a weekend magnet for outsiders to party all night long. As one man put it, you come here for the movie. Parts of Over the Rhine have been remade into desirable urban space for living and having fun. Other parts like Republican Green have enjoyed no such investment or care. For Gloria Berry, the streets are excessively loud, profane, disruptive, and dispiriting. Hey, we out here now. How long I've been here 12 years, 12 years, and for the last five years, it's been a nightmare since they put these two buildings in. Neighbors here are fed up with the noise, trash, trespassing, saying it's all too much. Come back here and get us cussed out like that one doing. That's all they do, and I want them gone. On his way into St. Francis Seraph today, just around the corner, Brother Tim says street problems have grown worse in recent years. This church stays open from 9 to 5 during the day so that those with no bed can sleep in the pews and have a place for personal sanitation, which is not readily available to them in the community. This is daytime in these few narrowly choked blocks of poverty and despair. At night, it's not the homeless, but a party crowd that hangs around here. They drive up in their cars, they park wherever they want, they open their doors, they play their loud music, and they're here almost all night long. Simply conducting an interview on the street can be problematic. They come sit in front of our buildings. They don't care if we ask them to move, because this is what we get. They like to cuss us out. Residents took note of how quickly the city responded to business concerns after the recent mass shooting on Maine. I mentioned this to Derek Smith, who lives over on Finley. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, that's where the money is, though. That's where the money is, the bars and stuff. Man. So they have bars and stuff down here, they'd be down here. Brother Tim and others see this as a quality of life issue for the renters at Republican Green, for those who people the streets. They ain't telling that. They ain't telling that. See what I mean? Get the hell away from my window. And for the homeless, who but for the grace of a Civil War era church would have no place to rest a weary head. There was a stabbing at Green and Vine four nights ago. The nighttime nightmare around here goes on. Because people are doing, are drinking, drugs, all kinds of other things. And I have to be very, very honest and say, and the police can't deal with all this. They don't have the manpower to deal with all this. And the landlord back here says some weekends you've got 200 from all over the city partying on the street like it's an outside club. Cornerstone Executive Director Elisa Berry calls this a serious issue for our families, saying outsiders refer to Republican Green as squid, Skid Row. Quoting her, we don't want to be over police, but we need to come up with a solution for this. Cornerstone is going to bring back block cleanup in September, although motivating residents to clear trash, liquor bottles, and beer cans that belong to those who've kept you up all night is obviously asking a lot. Live and over the Rhine, John London, WWT News 5.